there is always the risk with any vaccine, any clinical trial, that statistical improbability, that 0.01% risk that someone dies. And someone, reportedly, was a Brazilian doctor. He was part of an Oxford University vaccine trial group and is believed to have suffered fatal COVID complications. But they're sure it's safe to keep going. Following careful assessment of this case in Brazil, there have been no concerns about safety of the clinical trial, and the independent review, in addition to the Brazilian regulator, have recommended that the trial should continue. There is a race on, a race for the vaccine that works, that saves millions of lives and brings in billions of dollars. And it's in clinical trial. Things go wrong. They have. AstraZeneca, whose vaccine it is, has already suspended trials last month after another patient developed a strange illness. But the trials must go on. Clients are waiting. Brazil, for example, whose president has said he wants the British vaccine, in contrast to his own health ministry, which wanted 46 million doses of a Chinese vaccine. For my government, any vaccine before being made available to the population must be scientifically proven by the health ministry and certified by the National Health Surveillance Agency. The Brazilian people will not be guinea pigs for anyone. There is no justification for a billionaire financial contribution to a drug that has not even passed its testing phase. Given the above, my decision is not to purchase the vaccine. But it is remarkable. Two people look at the same vaccine and see two different things. One sees a lot of votes, political capital. The other person sees a panacea, medicine for millions. It isn't ideology, it isn't politics, and it isn't the electoral process that saves. It is the vaccine. We don't want a new war. Governors will go to Congress and to courts to ensure that the population has access to all vaccines that are efficient and safe. Health is a bigger asset than ideological or electoral disputes. Brazil is in an awful situation. 150,000 coronavirus dead, second only to the United States. Things aren't pretty there. Careers, lives, the economy and the election all hinge on that vaccine. No wonder Trump has been flooding pharmaceutical giants with billions, urging them to go faster and faster. We have a vaccine that's coming. It's ready. It's going to be announced within weeks, and it's going to be delivered. We have uh, Operation Warp Speed, which is the military is going to distribute the vaccine. And just as in Brazil, there's a divide, a chasm in opinion. People want, need a vaccine, but they want one that works, not one that makes the most money, not one that stumbled and struggled through trials, and especially not one made to save a president's career. He's, this is the same fellow who told you this is going to end by Easter last time. This is the same fellow who told you that, don't worry, we're going to end this by the summer. We're about to go into a dark winter. I think it's going to be a very skeptical American public about taking the vaccine, and they should be. If the doctors tell us that we should take it, I'll be the first in line to take it, absolutely. But if Donald Trump tells us I should that we should take it, I'm not taking it. It was clear from the get-go that there would be a race for a vaccine. What we didn't consider was how dirty it would be, how a simple thing, a jab to save millions of lives would turn into a bitter free-for-all over origin and money, name and prestige, advantage and re-election. Let's just hope that efficiency and public health also get a little consideration. We discussed the issue with Mark Arman, director of the Crisis Research Institute in Oxford. He said that when it comes to vaccines, you can't not talk business and politics. The bigger problem all round is that unlike all previous attempts to develop vaccines for such dangerous diseases, these are uh, emergency measures that are being taken. So there's obviously going to be an element of greater risk Anything that can um, reassure people that everything is being done in an open and transparent way is probably the best policy. The problem, of, obviously, is to some extent that there are a mixture of prestige and commercial motivations uh, from the competing producers of vaccines uh, that they don't necessarily want to reveal information that could be helpful to a rival. The anxiety to get a, an effective vaccine into production is uh, an overwhelming motive. That's true. I think this is where we do see a politicization of this issue. It's a bit like the space race 50, 60 years ago. 
who can get the first effective vaccine will have a huge um, boost to their standing as a country in terms of what we call soft power in the world, and also it will be an enormous commercial advantage. 